Aries, how are you? Let's see what energies and messages we have for you today. Whoa. Seven of Wands wants to flip. Challenges, but you're determined. Okay, energies and messages for the sign of Aries at this time. We are talking about July here. Well, coming into the second half of the year. Boy, does it seem to be going quickly. One more shuffle. Here we go. Justice. New Horizons. Three of Wands. Seven of Cups. Choices. The past position. The Empress. This is New Love. Wow. Six of Swords. Moving on. Travel. Seven of Pentacles. Mm. Willing to invest in something. Willing to apply and work on something new. Queen of Cups, you're following your heart. There's, I feel there's, you'll make these choices based on what you're feeling. The Chariot. Travel. Three of Swords. Hmm, interesting. The Emperor. Okay. Yeah. Some new love came into your life or a new zest for something that you want to follow through. I feel there's an opportunity here for you to progress to new horizons. But there is a serious choice involved here. Um, with the Seven of Pentacles in the near future. Yeah, it's, it's been, the energy's been growing momentum between you and this person for a while. And now if you accept it, it could be too early. You maybe won't have to get all what you want. But I do see with the chariot here a new journey, and that can be a physical journey. You know, you're following your heart. You're in control of this. But with the Three of Swords here, I've, I'm getting the word separation. So that's kind of letting go of where you are now. You know, letting go of the past. And the Emperor is all about you, really. This is you, Aries. You know, being responsible enough to take the consequences of your actions, standing in your power, and, you know, being very much in control. Not necessarily in a nasty way, but, you know, being in control of the situation. You know, you're getting a, I'm, I'm getting a progression here. Something in the past knocked you off balance and it, it kind of knocked the wind out of your sails. And now there's, you know, the things are turning in your favour. And yeah, you I repeat from the last reading, you're coming back to your old self. Yeah, some unexpected news here. I feel a page of swords. And it's sort of brought a closure on whatever's happened in the past, the distant past leading up to your present moment. You know, you, you will feel justified. That's what I'm getting. And as I say, to go on to pastures new with this three of wands, this five of swords, this, this is letting go of old stuff. And there is some choices open to you. But I feel you'll follow your intuition 
and for what is your decision and what you feel is the right choice here with this Queen of Swords. This can even be who you're connecting with. This news come from, coming from this person will give you justice, give you what you want. But, you know, you will have to apply yourself into the future. In the future, it won't just, you know, drop in your lap and then you can just sit back and relax and everything will just drop into place. It's not like that. You do have to apply yourself. There is something in the past that you regret. Now perhaps you feel regretful of letting go of a love of your life for whatever reason. But I feel you let go of something here that you like very much at the least. And there's, there's, there's some regrets here. And I do feel there's a chance to travel here with the World Card and Six of Swords. Whoever it is you're connecting with or coming into, there's, there's a return to happiness here. In the near future or around you now, there could be some delays and you're feeling a bit restricted. So there could be some outside influences restricting your movements in the near future, but I feel they will only be temporary. Like I say, there's a decision and choices here, and it'll all be about following your heart and your hopes and your desires. I remember what I said about the Page of Swords. Somebody is, somebody is coming towards you very, very quickly. And it will come out of nowhere and kind of surprise you and even confuse you a little bit, you know, for a while with this Seven of Cups. But you'll regain your focus and you'll know exactly what to do and where to go at the right time. Once that happens, it'll bring an end to this heartache. There's a tough cycle here closing for you. And a new one opening. That's also indicative with the world. It's all, all about cycles closing and new ones opening, allowing you to progress onto calmer waters and to move peacefully. And here you are. with a hangman, you know, letting go of some stuff in your life, seeing the world in a completely different light. As I said in the last reading, a return to your old self. So whatever it is or whoever it is you're connecting with, it's going to bring in something good for you personally. So take that out, it resonates. And remember, we do have free will. And especially you, Aries, you're very, very strong-minded. On that note, I'm going to leave it. I hope that's helped, and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.